Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to mix it up a bit and take a look at how to play Dark Souls 3 on Linux. As you might know, gaming can be a real hassle to set up on Linux, but Dark Souls 3 is actually really easy to get going. First, we need to enable the multi-lib repository since having 32-bit support is mandatory for gaming. On Arch or Arch-based distros, just enable the repo in the pacman.conf file, which is located in slash Etsy, by uncommenting these two lines. If you're on any other distro, refer to its documentation as each package manager is a bit different. Now that multi-lib is enabled, we have access to 32-bit software that we need for gaming on Linux. First, we want to install Vulkan along with its 32-bit version. Technically, you don't need Vulkan and some older cards don't support it, but gaming will not be easy if it works at all. But even cards as far back as an NVIDIA GT630 support Vulkan, so your card probably does too. If you're unsure, you can check and see if it is in the Vulkan database with the link down below in the description. The packages you want to install are Vulkan-ICD-Loader and Lib32-Vulkan-ICD-Loader. This will install Vulkan, but you also need to install a couple of GPU-specific packages as well for everything to work properly. If you have an AMD card, you need the Vulkan Radian and Lib32 Vulkan Radian packages for Radian cards or AMD VLK and Lib32 AMD VLK for everything else. If you have an NVIDIA card, you need to install the NVIDIA-Utils and Lib32-NVIDIA-Utils packages. If you have an Optimus system, meaning hyper graphics, install the NVIDIA-Prime package as well. If you're using the integrated Intel graphics, you need the Vulkan-Intel and Lib32-Vulkan-Intel packages. Now that we have our drivers installed, we can go and install Steam. Simply install the Steam package and optionally the game-devices-udev package for controller support. Then log in to your Steam account and download and install Dark Souls 3. An optional package to install is Proton-GE-Custom, and if you're on Arch or an Arch-based distro, it can be found in the AUR. There are two packages, and the only difference is that one is a binary and one is not. So unless you like compiling software yourself, I'd recommend the Proton-GE-Custom-Bin package. I would also recommend installing the Wine Tricks package, and that will give us access to quite a few wine tweaks that will help us run our games better. Proton is of course using Wine as a compatibility layer, and Proton is really just a modified version of Wine went for gaming. If you didn't decide to go a Proton GE, then you'll have to configure all of the Proton settings in Steam manually. However, if you did end up going a Proton GE, it will take care of that and Steam will default to using Proton GE. Next, we want to set up Steam so that it uses Proton for all games, instead of just the verified compatible Steam games. Now, if you're just going to play Dark Souls 3, you can actually skip this step because Dark Souls 3 is a tested title and has a gold rating on ProtonDB. But if you want to try and play other games besides Dark Souls 3, you want to enable this setting and then you can choose a global Proton version. The versions I've tried are Proton Experimental and Proton GE, and Proton GE felt a little smoother than Proton Experimental, but both versions work great, so once again, you don't necessarily need Proton GE. However, there are some other details that you should know. First, if you wanted to do online play, you can't. And that isn't a Linux issue, that is a FromSoft issue. A few months ago, the PC servers got shut down because of a remote code execution vulnerability, and as of now, it isn't known when FromSoft will fix the issue, but it will eventually get fixed whenever that time is. Another issue you might notice is that the frames per second are capped at 60. I don't know what causes this to happen, but it is a simple issue to fix. 
That being said though, I haven't had any issues with the 60 frames per second cap. I've gotten through an entire playthrough of the base game and not once did the game feel choppy or laggy. So fixing the FPS issue is really an optional and personal choice. Other than those two issues, the game may as well run perfectly on Linux, and from my experience, better than on Windows. So hopefully, after this tutorial, you should be able to play Dark Souls 3 on Linux. I will leave a link in the description to the game's ProtonDB entry in case you are experiencing any issues, or if you want to remove the FPS cap. Anyways, that's all for today. Here is some gameplay footage, and I'll see you in the next one.